you got questions, we've got answers. Just ask Kenny. Hey, what's going on everyone? Kenny here inside my house, so it's very echoey and I apologize, but we're doing another Ask Cam Kenan, and today the question comes from Dion Van Komen, one of our Patreon supporters. Hope I didn't mess up your name, buddy. But anyway, he asks, are Cyclora or monitors better pets? Well, that's a good question. It just so happens that I have a monitor that is kind of cruising around right now. It's Slinky, everybody. Yes, welcome Slinky. He's uh, in the house, and uh, I'm just working with Slinky, trying to get him more and more used to uh, being in different situations. Uh, that's exactly what's going on right now. So Slinky's in the house. He's got his lease and harness on. Uh, and I'm doing this because, uh, well, I want him to be more of an ambassador animal. I want to be able to take Slinky places because he is just such an impressive lizard. And I figure if I can calm him down and get him used to these different situations, uh, the more experiences he has, the better, um, the better he'll be at adapting to them and realizing that they are not uh, experiences to be afraid, their experiences to be happy and curious. So one of the things you'll notice about him right now is if I walk too close, he's going to bring his tail kind of in a curled position. That would potentially um, mean he would want to whip. But actually, guys, he's not doing that because I think he's getting more and more comfortable with me being around him. Now, he's been in the house for about an hour and I've been letting him do his thing. And I've also been reinforcing his experience by putting some food down. So I got some of these croc diet. Um, now, don't worry, I'm gonna get to the question, but I figured I'd give you a little Slinky uh, education as well. Let's put some food down right here and see if Slinky's interested in eating it. Uh, that's one of the ways you'll know if an animal is not stressed out. If the animal's eating, well, there you go. Slinky is always hungry and never full. And I'm going to have to do a lot of sweeping in this house, but that's okay because at least we know that Slinky's happy. Uh, he hasn't lost his appetite being in a new place. Now, back to the original question. Are monitors or Cyclora guanas better pets? Now, that's a tough one. Um, I really love Cyclora. They're the, larger, they're the large lizards that I definitely started working with first. Um, I love them. I, there's a lot of intelligence there. Um, they can still pretty much inflict an incredibly painful bite, okay? The reason I like them uh, is because they're herbivores. So when I have turtles and tortoises and so on, um, it's easier for me to feed them because they eat the same things that the good old turtles and tortoises eat. Now I'm really happy about Slinky's behavior right now. Just a few moments ago, before I started the video, Slinky was actually getting way more nervous uh, and that was no good. But right now he's calmed down nicely. So that's good. That shows that he's uh, feeling confident uh, and secure in himself in this new environment. So I have a well-adjusted monitor lizard there. That's good. Well, at least we know that. Uh, I'm not so well-adjusted myself. But anyway, back to that question. So. Do I think monitors or cyclora are better? Well, I would probably say certain species of monitor may not be the best for captivity. Obviously, Slinky is a big lizard, right? This is not gonna be an animal that everyone is gonna be able to keep. And this is not an animal that I think should be walking around your house. See that? That's the behavior. That's showing you that he's nervous. So I don't wanna force myself on him at this point. Uh, but anyway, guys, um, what happens is, you know, people want to treat these animals like dogs and cats. They're just not that. So I definitely don't think a monitor lizard of this size is a good pet for an apartment. I think they belong outside. Um, you know, we have the harness on Slinky right now, but Slinky is not going to live in here. I just want him to be able to kind of hang out and experience things. And the same thing can be said about large cyclora. Okay, I would not want large lizards living in my house. Uh, it's not cleanly because they can defecate and make you sick if they uh, have salmonella in their feces or if salmonella actually, um, you know, becomes, uh, grows on their feces. Uh, they can knock things down and cause a fire. Uh, it's just not a good idea. Now, if it's supervised, then it's different. If you have a large indoor enclosure and you can supervise your animal, well, then that makes a whole lot of sense in order to give the animal some uh, free roam time. But you should be there. 
because uh, it only takes a moment for something to go horribly wrong. Uh, besides that, um, there are some monitors, like the Aki monitors from Australia, uh, that are smaller, and they are all the same behavior as a monitor in a small compact package. So in that regard, wait, he's got a bit of a yawn. Hi, buddy. You a little tired? It's been a busy day, I know. Anyway, uh, Aki's are cool. So it's kind of a toss-up. I really don't know what to tell you. I would say my personal opinion would be the Cyclora. Uh, I got a soft spot for those guys. I've had them for a long time. They're easy to care for because we can easily get their food in a uh, supermarket in the produce department, keep them healthy and happy. Whereas the monitors, they're carnivores. You're gonna always have to be making sure you have rodents, chicken, uh, sometimes eggs, you know, anything that a carnivore would eat. So that's something that most people, eh, they may not wanna deal with. But as you can see, Slinky is one of my favorite lizards also. And in fact, he's uh, many of your favorite lizards. Everyone uh, out there loves Slinky. And I just thought it would be a fun way to discuss this topic here today on this Ask Camp Cannon and uh, make sure that, well, we got a little slinky loving deal here. All right, everyone, well, I'm Ken and I'm signing off, but thank you so much for your Patreon support. Go to patreon.com slash camkenan if you would like to become a new Patreon mem member and get your question asked live, or rather, on the channel here. You can also go to camkenan.com and go to the store, pick up a Cam Cannon shirt, and if you like the videos, hit like, and uh, why not subscribe so that you can go ahead and get the videos uh, as we produce them. So thanks again, everyone, for uh, Slinky. I'm saying see you later, and I uh, hope I've answered this question. And I hope I've made sense, because I know I ramble. That's my deal. See ya.